Engineering videos and technical solutions, BTEC and master engineering thesis guidance, simulation of projects using different software such as MATLAB, PVSYS, Helioscope, ETAP, and many more. Detailed videos on these topics and much more available software such as AutoCAD, Revit, and SketchUp. Be part of our family by subscribing to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, like our Facebook page, and visit our website. PZ Engineering. Passion to excel. Hi, welcome to the PZ Engineering channel. In this video, we are going to show how to model a fuzzy logic controller toolbox for a DC DC boost converter in MATLAB simulation software. Before we start with our simulation, if you are not yet part of our family, please subscribe to the channel, share our content, comment and like this video. You can as well donate to the channel in order for us to continue uploading videos. This is our control diagram. Here we have our V reference and V output. The difference between goes to, to the derivative and the error. And we have our D error as well. We have two inputs to the fuzzy logic controller. And the output of fuzzy logic controller is to the relational operator and is compared with repeating sequence goes to the switch. We have our controls diagram with our DC DC boost converter. We have our switch that is triggered by the output of relational operator. We have our components in our DC DC boost converter. Here we have our whole table. We have input as a delta R and R. We have output D. We have a negative high, negative median, negative small, zero, positive small, positive median, positive high. The same happened to the our E. When delta is N H and E is N is P N P H the out output is zero. When when it, when delta is pH and E is pH, the output is is delta positive high. When delta is pH and E error is P, delta error is pH and error is NH the output data will be Z. You can just follow the same sequence where you can put it in our table whole viewer. Now let's go to the MATLAB software to show in details how to model a fuzzy logic controller using a MATLAB Simulink software toolbox. In our workplace, let's write fuzzy. Our command and from here we can add the input you see the first input is error and the second input is delta error delta error And now the output will put D. This will be the duty, duty cycle. Here is to our members. Then let's add and remove. You can remove all. Let's check how many membership that we have there. We have seven. 
Now let's add our input variables. Add our membership function to seven. Here it depends on the type of shape you want, like we're using brick. Look at the shapes. Okay, let's change the first one to according to here. No, it's a mistake. We should change to duty negative high is for output. Let's change here to negative high. The second negative medium and the number three is negative small. Then here we have zero. Here we positive small. And we have positive medium. And we have our positive high. We do the same as our delta error. Remove all the membership function and add membership function to seven. And let label them the same as Now let's go to output. We do the same thing. We add seven membership function. Then we follow according to what we have here. We have delta, negative high, delta negative medium, delta negative small. Then we have zero. Then we start the positive the same. Delta positive positive high. The range is between 0 to 1, which is the cycle. Now let's tabulate our rule in our rule editor, where we are going to put all the conditions in our, in our tables. Please just follow it and yeah. We start with F. The error side will be the fixed one and we're varying the delta error. Then if P H, if error is P H and then the delta is N H is zero, as you can see from the table. If delta error is N M, Just follow as it there. If error is Z, then is, is delta negative high. If it's if is if error is N M, delta is negative. You just follow. Now let's move to delta error N H and start over.
just follow the sequence the sequence Please follow well so that I can I don't make a mistake. When you think that you made a mistake, you can always click on the hole to give you to summarize the point, and from there you can replace or you can change. There is option of change. As you can see, there is delete, add hole, and change hole. You can always check, and where you notice that you have made a mistake, you change as I'm doing now because so, there are so many holes, then yeah, you might end up clicking somewhere else. Now we can close. And if you come, if you go back to the whole editor, you can you can see our whole view. And when we change the input error, delta error, the output will change based on the our our conditions that we applied. And you can go to the view the surface where there is error, delta error, and D is the output. Then you can close it, close, close, and this is our, we can, we can export to work, workspace or export to file. When you export to file, that means when we close our model, tomorrow we can just upload it. Or the next, or the next day you can upload it. We can just save as a, as a PZ. And we export to workplace when we wanna use it. Let's just go to our MATLAB model. Let's open the simulation. Just wanna show you. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our content, comment, and like this video. Can you can as well donate something for us to continue, so that we can continue making and uploading more videos. Let's go to our library browser to get our fuzzy logic model. Open book. You must take the one of fuzzy logic controller view. Then we click there. At the first strata, we look for as it's not that we, we save in the workspace, we can there type the name that we save on, as you can see PZ. Apply OK. Now we can run normal our system. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment, and like this video.